Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome back to the stream for a Tearless Tuesday. Hey, this is the look one us. time of the week that we know what we're doing on this stream, and that is talking about something and tearing everything up and down. And yeah, you're looking at the screen. It's vegetables. Who would have who would have thought that we would be talking vegetables on this stream? One and two, right after a sequester mini that had people disguised as fruits and vegetables. That's two. Liana decided she wanted to do vegetables, and she did it before that. Um, but without any further ado, it's the person who would be, of course, the one person that would want to talk about vegetables with passion. It's Liana B. Liana Boris. How are you doing today? I'm good. You asked me a while ago when you first started, you were like, yeah, I think I'm going to do this tier list Tuesday idea. I love the alliteration. I think I'm going to do it. What would you want to do? I'm pretty sure I jokingly said fruits and vegetables. And yet here we are actually talking about vegetables. Yeah. I, I just couldn't believe that you still had your pick of anything and you were like, you know what? <laughs> vegetables. That's what I want to talk about. I'm not gonna lie. I'm super passionate about vegetables because I have this theory that people don't like vegetables because, okay, there's a lot of people that are like, oh, I don't eat vegetables. Like it's not my jam, which first of all, by the way, do you just like take Metamucil by the gallon? Like how do you get enough fiber? That just sounds so <laughs> painful. <laughs> so, so like, I just think people maybe don't know how to like prepare them. They haven't had them like fresh. Cause I think that's one thing is that sometimes in America it's like, oh, it's can it's frozen blah 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 whatever like fresh vegetables are brilliant they're amazing and i'm really excited to talk about vegetables today which is again a phrase i never thought i would say in my life like i'm excited to talk about vegetables <laughs> yeah so i having being someone who lives with you and has seen you just lean over the counter and just eat a head of lettuce like it's a wrap or a cookie or any other snack that could be I know you love your vegetables a lot. A okay, lot. so I'm not gonna lie. The One of the first times I was like, oh, my love of vegetables is weird is when I brought a whole cucumber to work one day and I ate it like an apple. And my coworkers were like, what in the living hell is wrong with you? <laughs> and I was like, I'm sorry. Like, this is who I am. I love vegetables. <laughs> And I'm unapologetic about it. As a Persian, I'm not mad about that. I, I'm about very the much yeah. Like I, I do recognize oh, a cucumber as a it can be oh, its oh, own vehicle oh, as a snack that, that works. We put it in the fruit basket. Don't ask me why it happens. Uh, Doom Tribe says TMI Liana on the cucumber at work. Um, <laughs> to Doom Tribe, I say keep your mind out the gutter, my friend. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so it's funny because like I, I want to read this real quick. So. Uh, Days in the chat, Jill in the chat says, when you usually order something on Tuesday based on Puya's stream and instead order Cheesecake Factory tonight. Yeah, no one is calling their local Whole Foods like, hey, can you get a head of lettuce ready for me? Because I'm really hankering now. Yeah, no, I know. I honestly was like, this is the end of Puya's Twitch chat. Like, I've screwed him over because no one's going to be like, are you freaking kidding me? You actually did vegetables. I do want to have no one listen to you. But I'm I'm hoping that our arguments <laughs> will carry the day I because think, I'm a little nervous about how this is going to go. I think the fact that our relationship is low key on the line with what could happen here. I think <laughs> that is like, what they're here for. This is a couch sleeping <laughs> yeah. level <laughs> uh, argument, potentially. <laughs> yeah. Also, happy birthday to Jill, who uh, is going to order from Cheesecake Factory. Get you get you a birthday celebration meal, for sure. Um, There's lots of birthdays. Where? What? Like, people are wishing happy Days, birthdays? Days, Brady, Pat. That's Jill. Oh, okay. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Just Jill. No happy birthday <laughs> to anyone else. Only Jill. Jill is the only one it's, who's allowed to oh, celebrate. Only Jill's birthday today. Oh, it's only Jill's birthday. That's right. Okay. So, 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 here we go. Liana, I've prepared, um, we've prepared a list of vegetables here that we're going to talk about. Um, I such a bad idea. <laughs> have prepared, Scally's like in the Zoom background. Scally knows what's up. Thank you, Scally. Um, I've prepared the, the tier names. Let's take you through the tier names, okay? And everyone okay. drop a less than two in the chat for Jill for her birthday. So we've got Binum as the bottom tier, okay? Binum. You know that's that's a part of the stream. You know how we work. Mm -hmm. Fourth tier is leave it in the ground because that means you just don't want it. It's like 
I would be okay if we just didn't pick that off the ground and we just left it. We didn't like farm it, leave it. We don't need it. It's better than bit them because if you're picking it off the ground just to throw it in the bin, that's disrespect. So, right? Is that okay so far? I think leave it in the ground should be below bin it, but I understand the logic. Yes. Third is, eh, it's okay, just veggies. Okay. Like, it's not sparking okay, joy. It's not that's giving you something to talk okay. about. You're not feeling it. You're not happy about it. It's just okay. So you leave it. It's fine. And then the second tier was the hardest one to do. Um, because how are you going to put a positive spin on veggies? Or, like, what's the god tier for veggies? I went with veggie side tables because it's not a complete table. It's not the best of the vegetables. So it's a side table, veggie side table. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and then the last but not least is I will always root for you because that is Aww. just the nicest way to say this. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. I'm down. I like this. Okay. So – you are the guest, um, even though we're in the same house, but you're you're the guest on the stream. Um, you can go ahead and nominate the first one while I tell the chat that I have added some special alerts into the donations. So I peppered a couple in there just so you know moving forward. But yeah, what would you want to go with? Okay. I want to start with what are all the lettuces that you have? The lettuces? Like plural? I feel like there's two. What are the ones next to the mushrooms? Uh, next to the mushroom, we've got, oh, one is kale and one is lettuce. Ooh, okay. I want to start with lettuce. Romaine, this is romaine lettuce, yeah? Sure. I mean, in my head, it's all lettuce. But if you want to specify, it is. it is romaine in the picture. Okay, all right. Yeah. So, yeah, let's do that. Let's start with that. Okay. So, yes. what are your thoughts okay. on, on lettuce? lettuce? Tell us. me. Enlighten me okay. on the lettuce. Not me. This is such a bad idea. Okay, so in my opinion, in my opinion, it's like a good staple. I love me a salad and I think romaine lettuce is like sort of the the basic like lettuce that you can go with. It goes with so many different um, types of dressing, so many different other vegetables. I think you can mix and match it in a, in a lot of different ways. So I would put it in the it's vegetables tier. Uh, side tables. Please. Okay, well, it's tiny on here. I can't read it. It's a Okay, it's a veggie side table, just so you know. Okay, I'll um, write that down. Okay. So, okay, so for me, I I think I would agree with you because and I will explain. Um lettuce goes in a burger, it goes in a sandwich and it does its thing, right? You can use the lettuce as the bread if you're really trying to go protein style or something like that. Then you're justifying, I'm going to eat this burger, lettuce wrap. That's fine. Um, but beyond that, oh, and I guess in salads, you would, could go with that. So for me, it does a little bit of everything as like a utility player. It's not the best in any of those situations. Like I'm not eating the salad because of the lettuce. I'm not eating the burger for the lettuce. And I'm not wrapping my sandwich in the lettuce for the lettuce. It's just there. Um, so... That's why I would maybe put it in the middle tier of like, eh, it's just veggies because honestly, it is not like if this was a band, if the vegetables were a band, the lettuce is playing the triangle. It, it's not needed, but it's there. No, lettuce is absolutely needed. It's like the base for salads. Yeah, but um, are you eating the salad to eat the, the lettuce or are you eating the salad to eat the other stuff? Okay, well, again, like, this is why it's going to be so challenging because you see me eat all romaine, like, head of lettuce and yeah. just, like, go for it. Like, eat the whole thing. Yes. So, okay, so you know how much I can, like, no, get well, out. Hey, listen, you don't need to JoJo lyrics me, okay? <laughs> what I'm saying is you're entitled to say it's a veggie side table. For me, it's, yes. it's either bottom veggie side table or it's top, eh, it's just veggies. So therefore, I'll go with veggie side tables because I'm not about to have you be angry at me for the rest of this stream at the first one. So we're going to go here. Boom. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. I win. <laughs> <laughs> Scally says spinach salad over lettuce salad. We did not end up putting spinach on here. Uh, hello, Wedge. We did not end up putting spinach on here. What would have spinach ended up for you if that was a conversation of which one is better for salad? Okay, well, spinach is better for you. So that's definitely um, a point in its favor. Mm. I think I really like spinach with like uh, fruit vinaigrettes and that kind of deal, but I think it doesn't necessarily, it's not as versatile, I think, as romaine. What even was that phase? 
what oh ooh, uh, sp- spinach is better for like you're just so fancy with the what was this the thing you put in the salad can you say that again no i don't even know what you're talking about you were just talking about the um the the sauce the like dressing. like a fruit based vinaigrette yeah, it's the hoity-toity fancy. Oh, I'm fancy. so fa- oh, I'm so fancy. Ooh, I, I have my dressing. salad with fruit-based vinaigrettes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I okay, fine, sure. <laughs> well, well, let's just move on. Let's talk about kale then next, right? So if we're doing like the whole like lettucey salad-based thing. Oh snap! Okay, well, what? I just have to interrupt your your conversation. Roasted Carrots has donated $15 with the message yum. So I don't know if it's, if it's a yum bump for the carrots or it's a yum bump for <laughs> veggies or yum bump for lettuce. Also, yum for bump sounds carrots. like a fun thing to say. <laughs> no, yum bump sounds like dirty. No, you're just filthy. That's the difference. It's not It's not dirty unless you make it dirty. Hey, baby. I didn't want to do a yum bump. No, no. Now it's dirty. Now we have to move past it. Roasted carrots, thank you for the donation. Much appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Where were we? You said <laughs> kale. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, you just took over and nominated kale. That's fine. Um, don't drop your yum bumps in the drop chat. Drop your please. yum bumps. Don't don't chat. do that. Drop your less than twos in the chat. Leave your yum bumps for yum your own bump time. baby. Okay, so we're gonna talk spinach next. I'm gonna move it up here. Um, yeah. So spinach is one of the few veggies. That... No kale. Kale. Sorry, kale. Um, yeah, kale's. You go first, please. You should go first. I should like kale. I have tried to like kale. I think I even tweeted once like guys help me like kale i don't like kale kale chips are delicious but take so much work i've heard the like massage the kale which is really i'm not like a huge fan of massaging my vegetables i feel like that's not something i should have to do to enjoy them yet here we are so again i'm not super happy kale i would probably bin it to be honest uh, because kale is not good. I mean, you are speaking to the person who was ready to bin this without you. So to hear you say you're willing to bin it is music to my ears. Kale is overrated. It's overexposed. Kale had a rebranding and bumped up the same time bacon bumped up is when kale bumped up on the other end of the spectrum of the non meats and Sorry, yes. Go ahead. No, Big Kale, seriously, like, did a number. Yeah. The Kale marketing firm was like, guys, we got to get on this. Like, Swiss char is super pissed. They're like, why didn't we okay, think of this first? We want to be white people's favorite vegetable. It's like kale and this, kale and that. Kale, like, and your yum bumps. Like, everybody was doing kale, and it's just, it's far too much. It's far too much. Yeah. Um, it's not needed. In, the, in a world where there's other leafy greens, kale is at the bottom of the barrel. And to be honest, I greenlit kale on this list just so I could roast it. So I and also um, someone did ask, where did you hear about this massaging kale thing? Can you share your trade secrets? I don't know, like the Internet. Okay. I, it was like that's how you get the bitterness out. Or maybe someone told me at some point. Okay, I'm a little nervous. Should I do incognito to Google massage and kale? I feel like you're not shouldn't worry about that. Um, you've done it before. You've Googled it before, so you must have seen what the result okay. is. Okay, how um, to massage kale for a salad? <laughs> if I have to perform an act of like a act of kindness and like get romantic with the kale, like I'm not about that. Like I don't need. Oh, well, like what am I gonna light some candles up and make a salad? Like that's insane to me. So, binum, <laughs> binum. Bin them, alley-oop them into the bin, swish them into the bin, get rid of them. Also, I saw that Jacob in the chat said that I don't agree with Puyon much, but I agree with him on this. And to Jacob, I say, appreciate it, man. Um, you're old news. You know what that is. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So, Lexi threw in a $5 donation. Thank you so much, Lexi. I appreciate you. This isn't necessary, but it's always much appreciated. So thank you for that. Um, I hope it wasn't a yum bump for the massaging kale, because I believe now we are an anti-kale massaging stream. Mm. 
<laughs> That's right. yeah, we're we're definitely anti massaging kale. Yeah. Uh, kale is so fibro fi fibro fi fibrous. Yes. So it's got a lot of fiber. So you gotta like massage it up. Gotta yeah, like, you gotta wine it and dine it. Beacon yeah. in the chat, like you know, light the candles, put on the berry white. Like y'all gotta chill down with your kale. I and am that's not... why it's too much work. Yeah. If 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 a vegetable needs me to take it on a night out, I'm out already. Um, I'm not about that. Okay. Did. Yeah. What? I, did we? Did you? Did we? Like, I'm just thinking now. I would be bad at wooing you. Did I woo you? <laughs> How did our courtship work? Um, did I depends woo you with what vegetables? your definition of woo is. If by wooing me you made a mistake and allowed me to win a game, then yes, you did woo me and sequester. But if you're saying <laughs> woo me in the sense of like relationship wise, yes. Yeah. Um, I don't think you wooed me in the uh, in the wine and dine sense, but I think you wooed me in the. Um, uh, conversation sense i'm like really trying to make that sentence make sense but yes the short answer is yes to both um okay yeah. if i could if only i could converse with my kale maybe i'd like it i feel like the kale would leave you on red kale seems like that type of person yeah kale seems if kale were a person was there kale in that sequester game uh like I, oh in the game no there was no kale in the sequester game yeah mm -hmm. Um, okay. Okay. What do we want to do next? What I want to do next, there was, <laughs> Dippin' Dots is right, there was a Big Brother player named Kale in uh, Season 8. What do we think of Kale? Do we remember? I, I don't remember much about Kale. I remember she was no, part she of the Mrs. Robinson early. alliance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah I, just, I, was, I was, like, initially excited for her, and then uh, it was a prompt fizzle out. Yeah. I'm mad that Yum Bump is a thing that's going to stay in this chat now. <laughs> You're welcome. Are you You're taking welcome. credit for Yum Bump? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm going to push that train, push that cart. <laughs> okay, Yum Bump all the way to the bank, baby. <laughs> you made it sound worse somehow. Anyways. Because uh, we're Yum Bumping it. <laughs> so we're going to talk about, um, I have the one next. Let's talk about garlic. So. Okay. I feel like garlic nearly didn't make the list because we forgot to put it on the list because no one's eating a rogue garlic. But it, when you put it in food and you cook with it, it's a good time. It's definitely a good time. I think you don't often think of garlic because it's something that you like add to stuff. It's like, oh, with your oil and, you know, it's one of your aromatics with your shallots and stuff. You mm -hmm. like you throw it in, you cook it up. But people put it in garlic. People put garlic in everything. Like I know of a friend who just buys those like big tubs of garlic and just goes to town <laughs> if they're making anything. And I think like whole cloves of roasted garlic has also I've been showing up places. So I think that garlic is really, I was going to say underrated, but I don't think it is underrated, but it deserves the props. Like I'm happy that we were able to think of it and put it on this list. Yeah, I'm very happy too. I think that I just can't think of a time where I've put garlic into a meal while cooking and then been like, oh, I shouldn't have put garlic in there. You know, I, never. Exactly. No one's like, oh, it's too much garlic. Right. I, I imagine there must be like a too much garlic situation, but I don't remember it. The one place I don't like a lot of garlic is when I'm eating a shawarma and there's a lot of garlic sauce because then the, that garlic breath, garlic taste sticks to you the rest of the day. So th if it, that can be overwhelming, but... Garlic is definitely, to me, arguably a vegetable that I will always root for. So it, for me, it's top. It's up there because, I, again, I cannot see a reason why it wouldn't be up there. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm OK. I like I like that. I'm OK with that, because even in every recipe, I like double or triple the garlic. I mean, I double or triple every vegetable and every recipe. But at the same time, like I think a lot of people are like that. So I think that garlic deserves to be in the top tier. Okay, so you're with me. We're going yeah, we're going up. I'm cool with that. Third one in. This has been a very weird stream if the third one in were already in the top tier with garlic. I mean it's garlic. Boom. So Yeah. Okay. Um Okay. Where would you like to I, go next? I wanna talk about I wanna talk about Oh my god. How about there's like fifty different peas on here. So okay, there's let me, snap peas. Let's see. So we've got let me open the folder with all the picture names. Um we've got peas, we've got snap peas. Those are the two types of peas we have. The other ones you're looking at that you might be like, what are they? Um uh, could be green bean and okra. Ooh, okay, yeah. Let's talk about let's talk about okra. Oh, okay. 
Um, okay, because you've never had it, right? Listen, the, the thing is, if you tell me what it goes in, I may have had it. I just don't recall having it. I don't recall okay. what the taste would be. I don't know what the taste profile is, so you'd have to walk me through it for me to remember. No, I don't think you've had it. So okay. okra is um, in a lot of, like, southern cuisine and southern cooking um i know there are a lot of people who like oh i really love okra okra is so good um i never had it until i got a little bit older and i lived in louisiana fried okra is so good so good the problem is is like when you try to cook okra and other things it's like covered in a lot of starch so it gets like slimy so there's different ways you don't massage it but you can soak it in vinegar you give a little vinegar bath that's supposed to like soak up or like if you rinse it that'll hopefully get the the sliminess so i think a lot of people like don't like it because of that but if you fry it it's so so good i think because it has its pros and cons i would probably put it in the eh, it's just veggies category um because i think also like it is such a staple for like southern cuisine so like what is it is it a side it's like a side right it's not like what is it or next it's like to? in it's like in it's like in stews and stuff like in like you cut it up and then like the little rounds like i'm sure you've seen it because you've got like the little seeds and stuff it's kind of like a weird shape it's like this long. It looked I know like that a, that has no reference. It looked like when I looked at, to go get the photos, it kind of looked like it was an in between a jalapeno and like pick not pickle. Yeah, no, maybe. it's like kind of a jalapeno. Yeah, you know, they're like kind of kind of jalapeno size. Yeah. So, is it and it's not spicy. No, it's not spicy. What what's the what's it closest to the English? It's like pretty starchy. So, I would say it's maybe cl- to like a zucchini ish but it's got like um it's got like like ho- like it's like kind of hollowish because it's got like seeds and stuff in the middle like i'm sure you've seen it like cut up yeah okay so i mean i'm not gonna rank this because i haven't had it so if you're saying it's in the eh section we'll put it in the eh section is this something that would be fun for me to try on stream or is it just not exciting like that well, how many are you going to eat? What like, it's mean? not as exciting as the watermelon. Like, remember that time when you said that you could eat a whole watermelon and then you couldn't? I got pretty close. D- you did not get pretty close. I ate half of that watermelon. So that's close. That's 50% of the way through. Okay, well, you could add it. You could add it to a list of things to taste, but I definitely don't think it's like a stream in and of itself. But I would put it in the. Whoa! I would put it in the. Eh, it's just vegetables. <laughs> Sorry, I like threw my pen. I'm getting like pretty heated about this. Yeah. No, where? Okay, so okay, I'll put it on the list. We're, we are getting there. We're, we are starting to compile a list of stuff I've never had that I'm gonna try. Um, wow, Cass. Cass says it was a weak half. Me eating that one. Oh, and fifty percent is a failing grade. That is true. Uh, and it was a week British half. System. I saw it. You oh yeah, that's back when you used to watch my streams. <laughs> oh <laughs> sorry you're oh. boring sometimes. Wow. Hey. <laughs> hey. Can I get a can I get a, a heartbroken less than two in the chat, please? Thank you. Drop no yum bumps for ones. you. <laughs> no yum bumps at all. Um I will I will one day conquer the watermelon challenge. I'll tell you this right now. Um, Do not make that your life goal. You're like, I'm going to become a competitive eater so that I can finish no, what am an I, entire Joey watermelon. Chestnut? No, no. I, I, I didn't might, say hot dogs. I, the idea of eating more than two hot dogs, like, no, I can't. <laughs> it's, it's you can dog. definitely eat more than two hot I mean, dogs. I'm I've sure seen I can. you eat more than two hot dogs. What, like in one sitting? Okay, you know what? This is like going too far off the rails. Let's keep talking about is vegetables. It, so I put it, okra in the end. It's just vegetables category. It, all right. Um, also, shout out to Joey Yumbump. Thanks to Wedge in the chat. Um, <laughs> okay, so the okra in the end has just veggies. I'll go next. Okay. And I want a mission to get rid of these um, the, the samey sameys. Let's talk about regular peas next. Okay, I think we can crank through, like, all the peas together because I feel like you have to sort of compare them um, when you're talking about peas. Yeah. Okay, so here, let me just start out by saying I love snap peas. I think they're such a fun snack. There's something so satisfying about the crunch. Just um, nom nom. You just yum them all up. I can eat, like, a whole thing of them. And 
they're so satisfying. They've got like the fiber and the water and they're kind of sweet. I love, love, okay. love snappies. Look at us. Look at us. Huh? So first of all, I said peas first. We should have talked about peas, not snappies first, but it's fine. We'll talk snappies first. There is, the way you say satisfying is like, you know, I came in from a hot day. I kicked my feet up from a hard day yes. of work and I had a cold bowl of snap peas. That is not yes. a thing. That is not a thing. I've had them. They're okay at best. They're okay no. at best. They're literally no. the, they're literally no. the, hey, um, I didn't have any other snacks. So these are slapping because they're crunchy. Okay. That is, first of all, that is objectively not true. Okay. It is. Of course. Like, sure. Because the foods can that go are gen. They're not all good. They're not always good. They can. They have a shelf life, and it's not a long shelf life. What are you even talking about? Snap peas. No, that's that's. What do you mean they don't have a long shelf life? What are you out here like timing all our vegetables when they go bad? You're like, oh oh oh, this bell pepper, time to go. Two weeks, mark it down. I just think texturally speaking, snap peas appeal is the snap, is the crunch. And I've had some that have not had as satisfying of a crunch because they uh, were not good enough. So. Well, maybe you're just bad at picking snap peas. Have you ever considered that? I've literally only bought them with you. So. Because I love snap peas. The... I eat them before they go bad. You're really like diluting the word love by say, sharing it with snap peas too. And I don't appreciate that. So. You, okay, look, here's the thing. I know that there are a lot of people who are like, oh, I don't like vegetables raw. Snap peas are one of the few vegetables that people are like, oh, yeah, okay, I can handle that raw. It's both good raw and it's good cooked. Snap Cooked snap peas? What would that go yeah. with? Yeah. Uh, look. Well, you can, there's a, like a lot of Asian cuisines I think that include them. Okay, so here's what I'm. Oh gonna... no, I'm thinking of snow peas. Yeah, come on, Liana, get your peas right. <laughs> get your peas in order. Get your peas in a pod. <laughs> <laughs> it's a just veggies for me, snap peas. It's no. a, it's a snack no. pea. It's a snack no. veggie, so no. it doesn't do snack, much else for no. me. No, no, they're above they're above lettuce. Uh, I respectfully disagree. So they're above lettuce. Snap peas are above lettuce. Here's the thing. Where, so you're would saying you act, you would actively choose to take lettuce, like romaine lettuce, over a snap pea. If I presented you with those two options, you would eat romaine lettuce over a snap pea. I can okay, do well, more then... with the romaine lettuce than I can do with fucking snap peas. Okay, but the inherent nature of the snap pea is above the inherent nature of the vegetable. Of the of the lettuce. The inherent nature of this discussion is that <laughs> we don't need to be saying the inherent nature because this isn't a defense trial. It's I are you saying it's a veggie side table and higher than lettuce? That's what you're saying. Yes, that's my argument. So then the compromise is it ends up being right underneath lettuce on veggie side table to even us out because I'm not fine, budging. Fine. fine. If snap peas were a person, they would be be like that cool friend that is just like always there for a good time. You can always count on them. They just like want to chill with you. They're like, what up? Let's just chill, hang out, be awesome. You need better friends if snap peas would be that friend for you. <laughs> snap peas is the friend who is always late, who doesn't no. reply in the group chats. Who then, no. when they show up, you're like, oh, I remember them. Be this is nice. I remember Snap Peas being a cool person to kick it with. And then they vanish, middle of the night, just Irish goodbye. And you're like, well, forget you two. Snap Peas can go. I don't need it. Um, no, I love Marcus's, though. Snap if Snap Peas were a person, they'd be Dustin Diamond. I like that. It's the screech of vegetables. Mm. So I don't know why it's your old reliable friend, but whatever. Let's talk about peas, which I think we might be on the same page for. Um, okay, regular peas. Yes. Okay, let me preface this by saying that my experiences with peas were the frozen peas that came in a bag, and you would use them for injuries, <laughs> and you would sometimes also eat them. The, the MVP of getting my wisdom teeth out. <laughs> peas. No, seriously. <laughs> when I got my wisdom teeth out, I remember sitting with just like two big bags of peas <laughs> on either side of my face. <laughs> And uh, and so, let me then say that they are the worst. I hate <laughs> peas. I hate them 
so much. They are my least favorite part of any casserole or dish that I am presented with their inth from. Like peas, if you're gonna talk about like peas as a person, no, they, no. I can't even, I, I would be too mean if I were to talk about peas as a person. I just hate peas. Peas have more utility than your beloved snack peas. So versatility alone, they're not a binum for me. But it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter if you can put it in more things if it's bad at being in those things. I don't think it's that bad. I don't like. Here's the thing. I don't love them. They're never in my in my in my chosen choices. Um, when I, they pop up in a soup I have, I'm like, okay, I'm not bad at it. It's all right. But like, they don't bounce off the page. They don't give me what I need. They're not actively used in stuff that I like frequently enough for it to be like in the lettuce conversation. That's for damn sure. It's good. Split pea soup is a good time. So I don't mind that. Um, for me, this is a leave it in the ground. Cause like if, I, if tomorrow I woke up and they're like breaking news, we no longer have peas. I'd be like, okay, well it was a fun ride, but I'm, my life's fine. You know, I'll, I'll, I don't even think anyone says two peas in a pod anyway. So then that saying would also die and I'd be okay with that. So this is leave it in the ground and it's because in soups, I fuck with it anywhere else. I don't really realize it. I don't care for it. So it's fine. The, to me, this has been them. Very clearly. Uh, it's been them. However, been them. because apparently we have to compromise, can we at least keep them at the bottom of the leave it in the ground? Right. Well, they'd be the first one there, so they'd stay there for now, and then we can discuss that as we get Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, well, like you put other stuff in front of it. Well, we'll see. We'll see what the other opinions are. Um, okay, fine. Moving forward. So that'll go here. Um, okay, where next? I want to talk about cauliflower because this is one that like when we were coming up with the list, we were like, cauliflower, are we really gonna include cauliflower? But here's my argument. Cauliflower, much like kale, had some type of grand organization scheme behind them where big cauliflower was like, big guys, people hate bread now. Therefore, we are poised to be the bread replacement. And they were like, we're doing them as pizza crusts. We're doing them as other things that are bread that I'm actually blanking on right now. We're going to do them as wings, replacement for wings, yep. if you don't want to eat wings. So cauliflower has really like made a resurgence, especially because like I know my mom now talks about cauliflower all the time and sends me various things about cauliflower from time to time. Yeah. I – so the – I do – appreciate that cauliflower is out there to help our friends who are either gluten-free or are vegetarian or are vegan and are not trying to indulge in the chicken wings and the doughy pizza or whatever that it's being replaced for um can you share a meme if i send you a meme uh sure is it gonna be worth sharing or is it gonna be dumb? no it's send gonna it. be dumb uh okay send, where, just send it let me know where you're sending it so i can look it up before I choose to put it on. Okay, I'm gonna text it to you. Yeah, text it to me. Um, it's yeah, a cauliflower fine. meme. It's a cauliflower meme? <laughs> yeah. Let me see, let me see, what are you doing? Let's see. <laughs> it's a cauliflower meme. <laughs> um, let's see, well it's taking a while to load. Um, oh, okay. Use cauliflower as a substitute for mashed potatoes, rice, and any joy in your life. You have no friends now. There is only cauliflower. Oh, I have green screen so you can't see. That, that's okay. <laughs> I said it might not be worth yeah, it. Yeah, no, it's okay. It's okay. Um, I saw that and I laughed because also as a white person, I feel like cauliflower is just like, I saw it everywhere, especially just as a replacement for everything. So that's why it had to be on the list. Yeah. The thing is, is like, I don't really eat cauliflower. I definitely ate more cauliflower as a child than I do now as an adult. It's definitely not on my go-to for veggies. It's not on my go-to for frozen veggies. I, I think we have frozen cauliflower. We do have one in the fridge, yeah, but that's freezer. But that's not – you don't need to come and inspect this. Um, we definitely do, but we don't use it. It's been there since, like, the first week that I moved in. Okay. We might have used it. No, no, it's in the fridge, freezer. Oh, I found it. Yeah, there you go. Can we you, show everyone? I mean, they, they – what do you 
Like, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now you know we have qualified. Anyways, um, so with all that, I do not care for it. Um, it's there, and I would bin it, but I would say leave it in the ground. I don't need it. For me personally, it doesn't come into use. And um, I don't, I don't f mess with it. So m the best thing to come out of cauliflower was when um, Shima called Russell, roasted Russell with his cauliflower ears. That was my favorite thing that cauliflower has done, and that was a adjacent cauliflower thing, anyways. So, yeah. I'm okay with like leave it in the ground, to be honest. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm cool with that. It would be bottom underneath peas for me, though. No, peas is worse. Okay, chat, I'm going to give you 10 seconds. Is it above or b uh, below peas? You have the final say here to break that tie because we're on the same page for leave it in the ground. So above or below, that's what we need to know. Did that rhyme? It kind of rhymed, I guess. No. Why are you raining on my parade? <laughs> above. People are saying above. That's above. Three above. Above. Three to one. I see one below. Oh, 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 oh no. Below gang. Oh, no. Below gang. Okay. Five, four, three. <laughs> you two, promised. One. You promised oh. that he's would stay at the bottom. Okay. So we got like it mixed up. There's a lot. Above, below. Both are amazing. Yum, bum, oh my above, God. below. This seems like it's a It's because your phrase me. was weird. Your phrasing was weird. Uh, phrasing, Puya. Phrasing. <laughs> Okay, I, I, okay, I'm just gonna put it above because you're the guest. Um, for Hooray! Now. So we'll do that, um, because I'm, a, I'm a nice partner. So I got you. Okay. Um, all right, next one. You went with cauliflower, didn't you? Yeah. All right, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna discuss something that is divisive that I don't think needs to be or should be, mushrooms. I wanna talk about mushrooms. I love mushrooms. I know you do. Um, based on the conversations that I've had last week with pizza and other places that I've talked about it, mu it mushroom isn't for everybody. And I didn't realize that. I thought mushroom was like a, one of those like, oh, every, everybody loves mushrooms. Not the case, uh, sadly. But to me, anytime I've had mushrooms in anything, it's elevated it for me. Great time on a burger. Um, great time in... Ugh, almost any sandwich, really, if you have sautéed mushrooms, it's a good time. Great in a breakfast sandwich. Great in an uh, omelet. Like, I fucks with the mushrooms. Great on pizza, might I add. So, for me, mushrooms are up there. They're in the top two tiers, um, one of the two. I think I would put them in the side table just because, ultimately, it, it doesn't work for everybody, and that might knock it down for me. But I, I personally love them. They're in my top three or four uh, veggies. Okay, this is my question. Are these tier lists supposed to be for, like, everybody or what we think is tiered? So we discuss them personally, how we rate them, what we feel about them, because this is a me and you conversation. I, when well, I... Why, don't the, why doesn't the you see your way out of it? That makes sense. No, this that is was an AMB. <laughs> we need the third person. I guess the chat, but I would rather the chat stay. Okay. <laughs> hey, chat. This is an A and B conversation. So, Puya, can you see your way out of it? What? What is that? What? Is this where you're gonna like lay us lay down your like tight five and like what? Talk about the dating scene or something. Like, I don't. What are you doing here? What's What's the situation here? Oh, let me tell you a thing or two about mushrooms <laughs> all right go mushrooms am i right okay so i if, if that's the case then yes i would put them in the side table tier just because i also really love mushrooms i love them on pizza i love them in everything i love to just eat mushrooms raw i just, just that is weird them. i've seen you do that as a snack and that is strange to me i'm not it's about not the strange. raw i'm not a raw mushroom guy um i need my mushroom cooked I like mushrooms raw. Good to know. <laughs> I, I do. I know. Um, but, okay. Okay, so vegetable side table. Veggie side table. Yeah, so to Veggie answer your question table. real real quick, um, for me, I it's a, it's a we decide what we want. It's our personal decision. But when I'm conflicted about where to put it, I end up using that as my personal tiebreaker of, is it a more universally beloved situation or is it not? And then I make that decision. So, yeah. Okay, so where do you put it in the vegetable side table? It's top for me. It's top from the three, for sure. 
Okay. Fine. Fat piece is not moving up, my friend. The fine. <laughs> fine. Is it top for you too? Fine. Is it top I mean, or this below This is already lettuce? wrong. This is already wrong. Okay, it's, because it's peas are list. not in binum. And the shared list. Okay. Well, yeah. Fine. Yeah, they can be the top. They can be the top. I mean, they're better than. Yeah. No. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Huh? Okay. Yeah. I accept. I accept. Okay. What does the chat want us to talk about next? You want to give one to the chat? Chat, let me hit you with what I have on the list and you can feel free to pick the next one, okay? So we still have asparagus, we have beets, we have bell pepper, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, carrot, celery, corn, cucumber, eggplant. Um, That's too many options. So Let's talk about eggplant. No, let the chat decide. You, we've That's given it so to many the options. But remember how hard it was to pick between an A and B? I, I went through a lot. <laughs> um, we have two for potato, three for potato. If I get two more potato, we're going potato. One okay, more I potato. Think we're going, oh, we're, we're going, going potato. potato. Okay, potato, 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 potato. Um, so here's the thing. You literally did a whole stream dedicated to potatoes cooked in various ways. Yes. Well, mostly fries, but other var some other variations were there too. Right. So I don't know what that means. Um, so it was mostly fries, and then we had mashed potatoes and like wedges. Like Okay. So this is gonna be like I was a little nervous about doing this because I have some maybe controversial <laughs> vegetable oh, for the opinions. Love of God. What what are these controversial opinions? Everybody loves potatoes. Yes. I put them as my starch category. That's I in, put yes. them in with my brown rice, I put them in with <laughs> my breads. I eat them as a starch. They don't count as a vegetable to me. Yes, and you are also the same person who would say something like, oh, beans are a legume. They're not vegetables, so they shouldn't be on the list. Yes, exactly. Like, I may not have even put potatoes on this list because in my mind, <laughs> they're a starch. They, they go in the brown rice category. They so do not. Um, but... <laughs> This is why I like can't I feel like I can't tear a potato because like it's not even in so its like we've I can't had, even compare it. We've had a stream, we had the sandwich stream where uh, TR and Louie were kind of like burgers are not sandwiches, they're a burger, so they didn't really rate it high. So you can do something like that where you can independently give us your thoughts on potatoes and then we can make the decision of where it goes. Okay, so first of all, there's some chit chat about like, oh, what's a vegetable? What's not a vegetable? Yes, totally agree. Tomatoes are fruits. According to the way that fruits are defined biologically, but we're going culinarily. So for example, like avocados, maybe, but they're like more a fruit. We don't think of them that way. Anyway, yes. Um, if you do low carb, corn slick. Thank you, corn slick. If you do low carb, you can't eat potatoes. Yes, that silk. that is also very true. <laughs> Sorry, corn silk. That's my bad. So I agree with that. Um, so anyway, so that's why I like I take umbrage with potatoes because I just struggle with that that's as just, like a concept. Like here's but the I thing: don't feel, when okay. you were a child growing up, personally, when I was a child growing up. The basis for these things was, is it a fruit? Is it vegetable? Is it A or is it B? Then we dissected them. Of course, then you look at them, you know, closer. It's like, oh, those are legumes, but they're still vegetables. Oh, those are, that's a starch, but it's still a vegetable. So for me, this isn't a debate. Like potatoes are vegetables. That's a thing they are. So I want to. Okay, like, fine. And I think, Where would you put it? Where number, would you put it? This is a top tier thing. More often than not, potatoes exist on a plate when you're outside having a meal, wherever you may be. They exist in some way, shape, or form on that table. And they are always good in whatever shape or form they come in. Like, they are. They just are. So... I just feel like this is something that's principled. Like, I have a principled opinion, which makes it, makes me unable to put it in the I will always root for you. So that's fine. That's that's personally, I would go, I will always root for you. Where would you go? Speak on your truth and your decision. And then we'll compromise. We don't have to agree. 
I mean, the thing is, is like, I can't in good faith put it in like the, eh, it's just veggies or leave it in the ground. Because like, I do understand its utility that other people have for vegetable, like for potatoes. So I guess I would put it in the vegetable side table or I put it below garlic in the root for you. Yeah, I mean, I would have, I'm okay with both of those decisions. Um, so I will leave it to you to make the final call. Do you want it in side tables, top of side tables, or bottom of root for you? I think it has to be side tables. Okay. Just because also, like, you can't eat it raw. Well, I guess you can't really eat garlic raw. Like, it, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know, man. That's hard. Well, you broke my heart, but it's cool. It's fine. Fine. We'll be okay. We'll be okay, gang. Everything's okay. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about another one that I think falls under a similar category, which is corn. Yes. Because I also don't, like, when I think of vegetables, I think of ones that are lower in starch, like ones that are better for you, that have, like, you can eat more to have less calories. So I don't think of corn also as being, like, my go-to vegetable, although I do enjoy, like, corn on the cob. But also, corn is another vegetable that I had a lot, like, frozen in a bag when I was growing up, and I did not like. Corn is awesome. And, again, in every form that corn comes in, I love I love baby corn. I love corn on the cob. Uh, corn, the, 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 there used to be, like, um, I remember back in the childhood days, there used to be, like, the, um, you know how there was, like, Dippin' Dots, the ice cream was a big thing? We had mm -hmm. it as it was called mini melts in Dubai that came around. And then the, the corn cart thing happened to where like you got corn in a cup with like lemon juice and a little bit of salt. Like that's delicious with butter. That's amazing too. Like I fuck with corn. Corn is awesome for me. Corn and potato are kind of the same, but potatoes higher up on that list. So corn would end up being something that I would want to put high up once again. Um, irregardless of how you're going to justify it as like a, this is this strain of vegetable. For me, this would end up being in a veggie side table personally, if not in conversation for always root for. But given that we've put potatoes in veggie side, then I wouldn't want to put it higher than potatoes. I would put it in, eh, it's just veggies. That's insane to me. That's so Because you can crazy. only, how many different ways can you cook corn? Like what else? So corn on cob. Popcorn, I guess, technically. Popcorn, but it doesn't yeah. really count as a vegetable because it's, like, drenched in butter. You can drench anything in butter. Does that make it not a vegetable? That's insane. I did, I did have a friend that was like, vegetables are only a mechanism to eat ranch dressing. <laughs> like, that's the only reason why vegetables exist. <laughs> I So, I want corn in the side tables. You want it in eh. Okay, Let's play side this tables, out. side tables, side tables, side tables, but at the end. Underneath snap peas? Yes. I think the hell not. This is above lettuce for me. Fine, fine. Wow, you just, you just buckled just like that? Because I know that, like, I have weird, like, vegetable opinions. I guess I can take one victory. I've been keeping track of Doom's comments, and Doom has been agreeing with you on everything, and I won this one in Doom size, which is, like, the highest regard I could have. Um, I think, I, I think, Marcus, again, with the incorrect opinion that corn has been him. <laughs> corn has been him. Marcus also didn't like bagels and then got bullied into changing his mind. <laughs> like, he says that he's okay with them now, but I don't know if it's because we roasted him a bunch on it. But, okay, you know, and enough, enough chatter. Corn goes here because I whined about it and I got what I wanted. So I'm happy about that. Okay. See, Marcus, I'm from Iowa. I know corn is bad. Why is it bad? <laughs> uh, tell me why is it bad? I need the, the reasonings outside of it like being not counted as vegetable. There's got to be definitive reasoning. Otherwise, we're good. Devlin says Marcus is correct. Is he though? Hey. Is, this is insane, gang. Cause surely. Okay. <laughs> Okay. No yum bumps for you. Um. Okay. Let's talk about radishes next. Why is radishes on this list? Because it's a vegetable, and I was trying to pump up the the number of veggies. Okay. I do like. Ones. Okay. So when I was growing up, my mom had a little garden out in our backyard, and radishes was one of the things that she would grow. And I remember as a child 
I was weird already as a child. I loved to eat vegetables and I would go out into the garden and my mom would find me just like eating vegetables from the garden. And she, <laughs> I remember one time. What is that? She would, uh, <laughs> what what is, is that? Um, and radishes were one of the ones that we would grow. And I always remember eating it raw as a kid and like wanting to like radishes because it's got, it's like tingy, it's tangy. It's got like a fun little dance on your tongue, mouth feel kind of jazz to it. And um, I wanted to like them, but they're painful like five bites in. I remember the first time I had a radish. We had like a, like a little veggie side platter at the dinner table. It was mostly like green veggies. And my dad, or was it my mom, one of them passed it over to me because they were like, you got to eat something. And I was like, the radish looks cool. It, it's a different color. It's looking all like nice. It looks like it'd be tasty. And then it was a lie. And it was not what it represented. I've had radishes since. And I, for some reason, I feel like a horse when I'm eating them. I don't like it. Um, it just, it just doesn't sit well with me. This is a binum for me. I, I, I don't need radishes. I don't. The only, yeah. So the only one time I've had radishes, I really liked them, was on this like open face sandwich thing I had once. It was like arugula and balsamic vinaigrette and very thinly sliced radishes, and that was the only time I enjoyed them. And I think it's because it was in such small amounts yes sharp taste they're very sharp do you know what i'm talking about they're sharp like in taste the like yeah like that's how they feel they feel sharp i don't get it like like if okay if if radishes were a sound they'd be this like flipping the page of a like book yeah kind of but like with a little bit of like tingly tangly after what the fuck is a tingly tangly? <laughs> I, look, I know what I'm talking about, and I make sense in my mind, so that's fine. So I would probably put them in the binum category or leave it on the ground. Yeah, we're we're binning them. I've also been binning them. Also, uh, now the chat has started talking about the yum bump and grind, so you know it's staying now. It's not going anywhere. Yeah, baby. <laughs> binum above. I, I'll give above or below kale. I just I feel like I'm above kale. Yeah. Yeah. I'm okay with that. I feel like kale is just trying to be something that doesn't need to be a thing. Okay. Kale. Please go ahead. Kale, though. stop trying to be lettuce. It's yeah. just not even cool. <laughs> it's like you're just imitation lettuce and not even a good imitation. It's like off, off Broadway lettuce. Okay, so this is another one that gives me a weird mouth feel. And we're going to talk about celery. Is that celery? Uh, celery is in here. Yes. Um, okay. I want to talk about celery. Okay. Celery is this one, I believe. Go for it. Celery makes your mouth numb after you eat it for a while. Like, have you ever just eaten so much celery? No, <laughs> no one does this. <laughs> Who is eating? <laughs> it does. I mean, I, I, I'll take your word for it, but I have never... Outside of when you get a stick of celery, a rib of celery, like on the side of a plate of wings, I've never had celery like that. I've had it chopped up in like a stew. Don't like that stew. It's my least favorite Persian dish. And then I've been using it to make the, the uh, tuna melt recipe that you've shared with me that I have shared with a bunch of people. It's good there too. It is a negative calorie thing. So that's great. But no one should be eating celery like they're fucking breadsticks, Liana. Like, no. I have definitely done that before. Um, it's a choice. It was definitely, it was my half of a watermelon mistake where I was like, I've screwed up. But the, the thing is, is that I grew up eating a lot of celery. The like ants on a log where you put peanut butter in the celery and then you put like raisins on it. I grew up eating it there. Whoa, I grew up whoa. eating it in stews. Ants on a log. That sounds horrendous. It's, it's ants on a log. Like, how did you, someone take peanut butter and ruin it? I don't know. My mom made it for me when I was a kid. And sometimes when I'm sad, I make it for myself as an adult. Oh, well, I don't want to diss your mom or your sadness. So I, I take back yeah. my, my... How dare you? Comments. Um, I feel like, yeah, you, like, eat it a lot. 
um, or at least I ate it a lot when I was growing up. I still do eat it quite a bit as an adult. Um, Mm -hmm. But like, I can understand why people don't like it because I think if you just eat it like plain and raw by itself, it's stringy, it's too tingly. I can understand why people don't like it, but like uh, my lunch, you saw me make my lunch. It's got a bunch of celery in it, all chip chopped up, that and onions. So I do like celery, but for me, I think I would probably put it in the, eh, it's just veggies category. Yeah, I'm I'm okay to leave it there. I think um, had it not been for the, uh, the the chickpea recipe and the tuna melt recipe that used the celery, I would have been binning these uh, prior to that. I've changed my tune on them now because I use them there. So I would be okay with eh, it's just veggies. Oh, you've changed your tuna because you've eaten it in tuna melt. But um, boom. <laughs> we need that sound effect. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I would put it in eh, it's just veggies. Okay, eh, it's just veggies. Above or below the, the, the oh, I'll put it above okra because like I don't know what okra is really. Yeah, so. I would put it above okra. All right, oh, oh, okra. Okra. All right, boom. I bet there's a good drag name with okra in it. You think there is a good one or you think one exists already? No, I thought, well, probably someone smarter and more clever than me came up with a good one. Mm, I see, I see, I see. Um, okay, so what next? You went with celery. I would like to let's talk about let's talk about cucumba, aka cucumbers. One of my favorite vegetables of all time. I love cucumbers so much, so much. I understand there's not a whole lot of versatility to them, but fresh cucumbers Mm -hmm. are so good. You can put them on sandwiches, in salads. You can eat them just like apples. You can cut them up. You can put them in water and let the water soak up all the beautiful cucumberness. Cucumbers are absolutely amazing. And I don't know if you will ever allow me to do this, but I will put them in the I will always root for you category because I just love cucumbers. Yes. Yes. Um, cucumbers. A big, thick okay, cucumber. Okay, stop. Uh, stop. I tried to move past it. You, you, you should have let me do it. Um, okay. So I am a fan. Big fan. I mean, like I said, these used to be in the fruit basket for whatever reason growing up. Um, I do think cucumber water is a good time. I think that it doesn't taste like much. If you put a pinch of salt on there, it does. It, it's great there too. Um, this is a, a vegetable that you can just eat like as is, easy. Don't have to worry about it. And then at the end of everything considered too, um, it is used in spa treatments when they put it on your eyes. So that's nice. It can be a garnish as well as an edible. That's nice. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's been a big staple in the dick joke making community. So that's also a thing that it offers you. Um, You pickle them as people are pointing out in the chat, AKA make pickles. Right. Um, You also with cucumbers, (laughs) <laughs> I'm trying to think of other uses for cucumbers. And I like, like, I understand. I understand that that's a problem with cucumbers. Like, I'm trying to think of, like, cooked dishes with cucumbers. Because when I was growing up, like- there's, like, a sweet... We make these, like, Swedish, um, like, cucumber dish where you, like, soak them in, like, sugar water. They're super, super good. A Swedish um, cucumber dish. Swedish pickled cucumbers or Swedish cucumber and red onion salad. Red onion yeah, and uh, dill. The pickled ones. Oh, yeah. Uh, Scandinavian uh, cucumber salad recipe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're going to click it on this one. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah. I'm looking for like cooked cucumber. Oh, they're Julia in Child sushi. They're cucumber. in sushi as well. And that's exactly. Definitely I think great. that's the thing is like they're mostly raw. Like you mostly eat them raw. Yeah. No, I cucumber is amazing. I would put cucumber at the very, very very least in veggie side tables if you're saying it's gonna go if you want it and always will root for you i would probably disagree with you there so we'd have to find the middle ground um okay so somewhere in the the vegetable side table yeah i would put it i'll give you 
I would put it maybe behind mushroom if I'm being nice. So it'd be That's fine. As long as it's above corn, that's fine. Okay, then that's yeah, corn. that's what I was trying to gift was not putting it above corn for you. I don't remember eating corn. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Okay. So then you're next. You have the next pick on the board. And we're more than halfway through now, I think. Okay, let's do eggplants. Nice. Speaking of phallic vegetables. Eggplant is god tier vegetable for me. Eggplant is I will always respect. Okay, I love so here's the... Okay, I know it. that. Because I remember the one time when you were trying to make a slow cooker recipe and you improvised and you put... A, That's not <laughs> you true. You put an that eggplant in there and it just like completely dissolved because you can't do eggplants. Like they just don't hold up. I know it that just now, okay? Apart. You can't bring this up like, oh, you're teaching it to me now. I know. It still <laughs> tasted. It had the taste. It just vanished. The eggplant taste. No, I... So I... <laughs> Mostly a eggplant like grilled on the grill as like cut slices of eggplant. Mm -hmm. You've had more experience with eggplant than me. Like for me, I would probably put it at the bottom of veg side table or eh, it's just veggies. Oh, no. But I know that you want to put it in the I always root for you. The veg side table category is just going to be like full. I think with the veg side table, if we keep going on and they keep ending up there and there's very little in every <laughs> other tier, we will look at it at the end and push some stuff around, I think. Because okay. then we have to be a little bit, because like it's starting to look like the the veggie side tables is literally our fence where we're like okay i love vegetables i know you do um i look okay, here's the thing i've had i've had the um the grilled eggplant at the all you can eat sushi place in ottawa i still have memories of and i love um that's great and then i do like we have an amazing persian dish that is vegetable ba uh eggplant base and that's incredible as well it's one of my favorites and i just have too many good nostalgic dish memories with this. So I would want to see like pop. that's my argument. But that's my argument, though, is that it's rooted in the dishes themselves, not in the vegetable, like in and of itself. If like I, had I will a... eat. Yeah, go ahead. I will. Well, you can't eat. Can You can't eat eggplant raw, right? It's like bad for you because it's a nightshade part of the nightshade family. Eggplant raw. It depends what you mean by eggplant. But anyways, I digress. Do you take your eggplant raw? No. Um. But if we had like if we had like eggplant in the fridge right now, I would definitely slice it up and throw it in the oven, and it would be delicious baked. So, yeah, mm. as is, I would love. Yeah, I would eat it. Or um, stovetop would also be delicious as well. So, uh, mm -hmm. here's the thing: I know that I'm not gonna convince. I'm not gonna be able to convince you to go top tier. So that's not happening. Mm -hmm. um, and you're saying it would go or either side or eh. I would say mm -hmm. top inside. So. Where would you want to talk about in veggie side tables? For it's eggplant? below cucumbers for me. Oh, wait. Can we also talk about the fact that the eggplant is probably the most prominent emoji in this list? Yeah. I mean, that is a good point. Yeah. Like the, um, I think the moji bump, the mojo bump should be there. And it's okay. definitely, if you were trying to classify what a yum bump and grind is, the the eggplant would be in the conversation. So That's true. Yeah. That's true. Okay, well, I'm good with whatever you want to do. Really? No, 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 no. Stand your ground, Leon. You have nostalgia about it. What am I going to take that away from child poo? Yeah, I'm like stealing eggplants from a baby. That was a weird sentence to say. Like stealing I have a baby. Got it. Sorry, I mean, I my references the, are so smart. I get the ref. It's oh, it's not. It's smart. <laughs> Taking candy from a baby is not a highbrow comment. Yeah. 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 Eggplant. No. No way. It's better than a potato. Yeah. I actually no. would agree with that. I mean, it would either go above. Uh, I would you you'd pick mushroom over eggplant. Honesty. I would pick mushroom over eggplant. Yes. Okay. Then we'll put it below. Would you put it above cucumber? You wouldn't, right? No, I love cucumbers. If this were my list, cucumbers and snap peas would be in the top tier. That's true. So I'll... With garlic. I gave you above corn for the cucumber, so I'm going to take above cucumber for the eggplant. Is that fine? Okay, fine. Well, then we should have talked about eggplant first. Well, no. Because um, that's not fair. That's an order of operations thing. All right. Um, chat, you have 10 seconds. <laughs> Tell me uh, which one should be above the other, cucumber or eggplant? Which one's better? Go. Um, while we decide what we're going to talk about next. How about that? So, Let's do pumpkin. Um, 
Okay, we'll do pumpkin next. So I'm just waiting on the chat to see if the chat has a penny on this. Um, so I see one cucumber, two, one, three, one, four, one, five. One. Okay, fine. I hear you, chat. I hear Hooray! you. Hooray! Uh, DT, uh, DT and Doom Tribe. We're on an island. We're on an island alone. Everyone went with cucumber. Okay. Uh, Scally, thank you with the emoji vote. Scally with three emojis. Okay. Unfortunately, we lose the battle. But I'm glad that there's some people on my team with this. Um, all right. We're going to talk about pumpkins. Look, Would you like to... People love the, uh, the eggplant. I'm feeling um, fiery right now. I don't understand right why pumpkins... Okay. Yeah. You go. You go, boy. So wait. You don't understand why pumpkin's in here? Because I looked at a, I looked at a official list and pumpkin was listed as a vegetable. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's here. Mm -hmm. I know it can be argued of like it's not. It's a fruit. But... Or no, no, no. I mean, I, like, I understand that. But, like, for me, I'm not a big fan of pumpkin. I like pumpkin pie, but that's kind of about it. Yeah. Abbott has entered the chat. Um, uh, to those of you who are here, tier list users, you know that Abbott does not like a lot of the things we talk about. So, um, Abbott says pumpkin more like blumpkin. Yuck. Here's the thing. I'm feeling fiery, so I'm going to go in on this. We talked about kale having a resurgence. I feel like pumpkins for some reason, have now become synonymous. Outside of carving them, I'm st making them a jack-o'-lantern for Halloween. That was one night of a year. They have turned itself into a whole month experience with pumpkin spice lattes, pumpkin this. My bagel store did, uh, those of you who don't know, I worked at a bagel store for six years. My bagel store did pumpkin spice bagels. Like, stop. It is. It does not need to be put in all these other things. It does. But like, not pum need. pumpkin spice isn't pumpkin. I mean, it's pumpkin spice is cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, and cloves. Well, I don't care. It's uh, they call it pumpkin, so I'm I'm throwing it in there with pumpkin. I don't even like the taste of pumpkin regular. So not even the when, fake yeah. pumpkin. No, when I was growing up, we definitely used pumpkins more as jack lanterns and less as food. So I don't like what does that say about a pumpkin when you're like, I'd rather carve into you than eat you. Yeah, it's literally I'm going to get all inside. You take the innards out, the slimy innards, bin them and then like make a face on it or just have my like kid ruin it. And then I'll stick a candle in it like that. That's that's the best function it serves, in my opinion. My, now, if you ask my family this, if you ask my dad or my sister, they love pumpkins. They would rate this. They would make like a pumpkin puree thing, and they both loved it. I hated it. So for me, this is a binum, and it's not close. This is my biggest binum on this entire list. I'm fine with that. I'm totally fine with that. Binum. Like, I, I tried to eat kale. I, I didn't try to eat pumpkin. Now, you could say, like, well, again, like, we don't know you heard about big kale, like, trying to get all up in your business. But, you know, still, I stand by that. <laughs> uh, yeah, Wedge Brown, maybe you don't say that again. Uh, but it's cool. It's cool. We, we, we know who you are, so it's all good. Um, yeah, pumpkin's not a good time. So that's, that's where I'll leave you with that. It's just not the best at all. Um, so yeah, we move, we move, we continue and we move on. So, um, let's go with the other orange vegetable on the list. Let's go with carrots. Roasted carrots gave us a $15 donation earlier and we said, thank you. Uh, they started the yum bump. Thanks to saying yum. So now we got the yum bump here. We're talking about carrots. Where do you lay with car carrots? <laughs> what? And these are the carrots you lay with? <laughs> these are the vegetables uh you lay with? <laughs> Um, okay, you know me, so I can't hide the fact that I eat carrots essentially every single day. It's your, it's your, it's your um, vegetable. Like when I pack your lunch for the next day, <laughs> you have. I'm going to tell them what you eat. Um, it's like whatever your meal is, so what, whatever we've prepped for the week, that's there. There's a Tupperware of that. Then there's a little Tupperware with like um, 28 almonds specifically, usually. I go with the 28 almonds. And then you've got a other, another small Tupperware with uh, baby carrots. That's your food when you go into work. Very specific <laughs> about what I take to work. Yeah. Um, so yes, I love carrots. I eat them all the time. I eat them raw. I like them cooked. I like them roasted. I like them in soups. I like carrots quite a bit. Carrots, I like too much carrots. I do not like. Car carrots have a... There's a cutoff point for me, um, especially like 
when you're eating carrots just like raw, they are, to me, they're dry. Like they, they leave me feeling like I need a drink with them. So I don't yeah, you like, like that. always cough when you eat carrots. It's the weirdest thing. Yeah, it is not weird. It's dry. Yes, it's fuck. weird. It's not dry. They're carrots. They're dry. They're a dry vegetable, Liana. They are not a dry vegetable. They, they are like if you had the Popeye's mushrooms. Biscuit, a Popeye's biscuit is the equivalent of like three carrots. I'm telling you, you can't like third carrot. You're like, oh my god, I can't. I need a drink of water. Like it should be a TikTok challenge. It really should be. I think you just struggle eating carrots. No, that is a weird thing to say. Um, but no, I love my, I love carrots. Otherwise, carrot juice is incredible. You know, this was a uh, my dad always made us have carrots at least. You know more than once in a while because of the vitamin a because for the eyesight that's what he used to say um so i i like carrots and i like them roasted i like them as is um but yeah no they're uh, people the chat's disagreeing with me on the on the dryness um to you i say <laughs> i can't it just it, it, i need water next to me otherwise it won't work um i do appreciate you not judging me for it though so thank you on that i know i'm weird <laughs> with this <laughs> what's a wet vegetable what's the opposite of a carrot i don't know but i don't feel parched when i eat any of these other vegetables that we've talked about i feel like for me it's it's like romaine lettuce or snap peas or maybe bell peppers they're just like packed with a ton of water celery they also are, has a lot of cucumber water cucumber is probably the wettest vegetable cucumber Ugh, no wonder i like me a good cucumber <laughs> why why do you do this why do you set yourself why? up why did you let me come talk about phallic vegetables on your TV? I didn't let you anything on my yes, TV. You, you had a choice. You had the option to pick anything, and you picked <laughs> vegetables. And then I you wanted you. to you wanted cucumbers to be top tier. <laughs> I did not want cucumbers to be top tier. Oh yeah, you I did. did. I love cucumbers. Yeah. A <laughs> uh, tomato okay. is also wet. Um, yeah, tomatoes are juice. pretty wet. Yeah. Okay, okay, so where do you want to put carrots? Um, I think this is a, here's the problem is I think it's a great one. It could be in conversation for like up, up there, but I, I, the problem is we've like packed the middle with so many things that I'm not willing to let it go above. So it would, end no, up being we're definitely going to have to, way. we're definitely going to have to rearrange something. We'll clean the side table before we get out. I, I, okay. I agree. But you want to pop it up in the side table? I want to pop it in the side table. And then I want to ask you where, where would you put it? And if it's in the side table, where in the side table? I mean, I would put it up with cucumbers. I eat it all the time. I eat it every day. Top or below? Like, for me, it's not... Below. Below? Okay. Yeah. Oh, I have a hard time putting it no, above. No, it's above. But it's fine. Um, it, what? Were you about to say it's above cucumbers? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Because carrots, you can cook in so many things. Right. But which one, like... Mushrooms is way too high. Mm, mushrooms is not way too high. Okay, well that's fine. Let's leave well, carrots listen, there for let's, now. We'll, let's keep going. Yeah, let's oh keep... look, we'll get we'll get there. Yeah, we've got like about eight nine more to go, so we can do that. Okay. Um, okay, let's next. talk about beets. I want to talk about beets, baby, and not beets by Dre, but the beets you find in the ground. Okay, I do not like beets, but to me they're either leave it in the ground. No, they're leave it in the ground here. They're above peas. Beets are delicious. Um, they're they're also a wet vegetable. Um, definitely a wet vegetable. Um, and I remember when back when we used to go to Pizza Hut, and there was the salad bar at Pizza Hut. The beets there slapped. And ever since there, anytime I go to a salad bar and there are beets, I always cop a couple beets because the nostalgia factor. I like them. I understand that they're not beloved by everybody. They're colorful. They're nice. Um, at most, I wouldn't. I still wouldn't put these above. Eh, it's just veggies, even though I like them. Uh, Here's the argument against beets, though: is what? that what you just said? Salad bar beets are the only good beets. That's it. Right. That's why I wouldn't put them above veggies. It's just veggies. But I won't say leave it on the ground because if I went to a salad bar and there were no beets, I would be sad. I want beets at the salad bar. Only you would be sad. Um, I don't. If think I so. walked up to a salad bar and there were no beets, I wouldn't be like, "Oh no, where are my beets?" If you walked to a salad bar and they just had a plate of radishes, you would be like, "I'm having a salad. I'm having." What radishes. salad bar so, only has radishes? What's, but like it, 
what I'm saying is my argument is that you just really like vegetables. So of course you will have a stronger opinion on vegetables than I would. I would put beets in leave it on the ground. Okay. I would put, put it at the top of leave it on the ground. So I would say, I would argue bottom of it's just veggies then. Okay. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I won that. Boom. It's like one spot different. It's a whole tier different, but it's fine. We move. Okay. okay. Fine. Yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. That's a, uh, yum bump it up there. Yum, yum bump, yum bump it up. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know when we're ever going to have a chance to go to a salad bar again, as being pointed out in the chat. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Marcus. Good luck tonight. Uh, do your thing and have fun more importantly than anything. Okay. Let's talk about Brussels okay. sprouts. Okay. Brussels sprouts. So I did not like Brussels sprouts growing up. I feel like also Brussels sprouts had a little bit of a resurgence. I finally learned how to cook them properly, which either roast them with a lot of bacon <laughs> or I'll do them on the stove and they'll turn out okay. But I feel like to me, those are the only two acceptable ways to eat Brussels sprouts. Mm -hmm. I love them when they're cooked that way, Yes. but that's about it for me. So for me, they're above beets, but they're like that same level. No, so for me, uh, Brussels sprouts are only good that way. And if you need to use bacon to make it taste good, then you don't need it. It is not necessary. Roasted, it's I. Um, but it's I. For me, it's ground or it's binum. But I don't feel strongly enough about it being in binum because I feel like growing up, TV tried to fool all of us into being like, oh, everyone hates Brussels sprouts because that's disgusting. And I think that that's not the case. They're not necessarily disgusting, but they're also not like, okay. Yeah. Leave it. Well, the, the first, the first Thanksgiving that we had together, yeah. you had Brussels sprouts. And I loved and did it. Did you like them? Yeah. And if you're going to have nostalgia over eggplant dishes, what I'm hearing you say is you don't love me because you don't love Brussels sprouts. No, no, don't. <laughs> Why are you? This is the hill you die on. This is the one you pulled out the love card on is fucking Brussels sprouts. Here's the thing. <laughs> did we have it at Thanksgiving last year, though? I don't remember. No. So then the nostalgia was it was a one timer <laughs> and we've not really Brussels sprouted since we did it once or twice since I've moved. But it wasn't really like it wasn't the same. Um, OK, fine. Okay. So do you no. want to so put where them, do you, leave where, them in the ground? You wanted to put them above beets? I would put them above beets. OK, yes. I'll give you that. I'll give you that in the name of uh, love. I feel like right in the middle is a good place for them because I feel like they are also super divisive. Like some people are just like, F Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts are the worst vegetable ever. Like I, I think if you're ever thinking like, oh, let me list what the worst vegetable is. Brussels sprouts I feel like would be high on that list. Maybe until like recently though, it's changed I, I a little bit. I kind of feel insane for having peas lower than Brussels sprouts almost. I don't know. Peas are disgusting. To you, yes, they're definitely. Yes, awesome. and you said that this is our list. Yeah, okay. We Well, yes. Okay. So we can move on then. We can move on. What's your next nomination? Okay, I want to do onions. Um, yes. The floor is Onions yours. are top tier. Yeah, they're god tier. They're easily they're always good for you. It's not even a discussion. Yes. Onions, there's so many different types of onions. They're good. Red onions are great raw. They're great on sandwiches. They're good in salads. Uh, they're just absolutely fantastic. Yellow onions, white onions, so many good uses for them. Mm -hmm. Also can be raw, but usually better cooked. You can put them on pretty much everything. I would put them in the always root for you. Yeah, it's not even close. I feel like, because even if someone's like, oh, I don't like the taste of onions, caramelize them, and now you love onions, you know? Like, yeah. And they, crispy onions are delicious. Soft onions, caramelize are delicious. The crunch is great. It has a bite to it if you want it to have a bite to it. It's awesome on sandwiches. It can go in almost – for me, it really could go in almost any dish, and it would make the dish better for me. So Okay. Yes. So Puya is learning how I like to cook, which is yes. however many vegetables are in that recipe, triple it. Onions – are perfect for that. There are so many recipes where there's there's like, oh, I like, oh, there's not enough vegetables. What do you add? Onions. Onions to me are hands down god tier above garlic. They are amazing. Yeah. Onion no. rings, 
Yeah, no, they're, for me, they're easily above garlic, and it's no debate. I want to pause for a second um, and say that, let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left. No, we have eight left. I can't count. Um, yeah, so we're about almost, we're getting to the end of this. If there's any um, tierless Tuesdays. Well, we're going to have to rearrange them. We'll get there. We have time. Okay. Um, if there's any tierless Tuesdays that you've missed in the past that you want to see that are been deleted from my VODs, you can go over to the YouTube I've set up, which the sole purpose is to have these re-uploaded okay. for a place for someone that wants to go see them. Huh? They are Thanks. just sitting there. I've not edited them or anything. All I did was remove the intro music from them so that we just jump right into the, to the tier list. So the first two episodes are there. If you want to check that out, that would be cool. All right. I want to talk about bell peppers next. So that's where I want to go. If you're, if you're uh, down. allowed, yes, yes. I'll, I'll allow it. Okay. Um, to me, this is also a top tier veggie. It goes well with many things, pretty much many things. There's not many things I wouldn't not want this with. Um, it's great for, it's a breakfast veggie staple and it is delicious. Um, you know, there's different, there's the green one, there's red, there's yellow, there's orange. You can pick whichever one you like and they're always good. They're good grilled. You can have stuffed peppers. Those are also good. You can chop them up into little bits. You can put them in an omelet. You can put them on the side. You can just, it's just phenomenal. For me, this is phenomenal. It is not higher than onions. I will say that, but also goes great on a pizza. Um, it's maybe above garlic, but it's in the top three of the ones we have right now. No, they're top tier. I was I was thinking about putting them above garlic, but below onion. Yeah. I love, 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 love me some bell peppers. I eat them. I eat them as snacks. I eat them raw. They're the best part of any veggie tray. There's just, you can't go wrong with bell peppers. I think that they're absolutely fantastic. Yeah, it seems like the chat they're wet. is also on our side. Okay, yes, they are one of the vet, wet veggies. Um, yeah, we're all on the same page here. It's brought unity to the squad, so I do like that. Um, so we'll put that over there. Um, that was a very quick decision. That was an easy decision to make. I mean, they're like that's what happens when something is god tier. Like yeah. it's just, it's it's just done. The decision is done. So I want to send the next one over to the chat now that we have only seven options here. Uh, you have zucchini, yellow squash, tomato, uh, green beans jalapenos asparagus and broccoli go ham mm -hmm. um, and i'll also take this moment to say that i do have an objective to get to a thousand followers so we can rewatch uh, my first ever so you think you could podcast rhap appearance liana has said that she might even join for that one if we get there <laughs> do you which... want us to still be in a relationship because like i mean i know i'm gonna get roasted i've accepted yeah. that i'm gonna get roasted so i'm okay with it um, but it is a thing that I promised that I'm going to do. I'm going to cringe. It's going to be awful. I might need a bev or two to get through it, but we'll do it. So <laughs> if you, if you're here and you haven't followed, follow me, please. So that I can embarrass myself further. <laughs> oh my God. It's going to be a mess. Wait. I like, so with all the class of 2020 people, you know, like going, going, still going through interviews and all that stuff. Like we're starting to see people pop up on podcasts and I'm just like, Oh, it reminds me of hours. So you think you can podcast days. Yeah. It reminds me of like when, um, uh, what's it called? When you see like, when you're okay. in the Look British system, you huh? go through, you finish high Not school me. at grade 11 and then grade 12 is sixth form. And that's a different, um, you're doing different set of examinations. You're still at school, but you're not part of the yes. school student okay. body in a way. It's weird. Yes. But us. I remember yes. looking at grade 11 and being like, I remember how that was because that was literally last year. And I feel like with the new class, I feel the same. I'm like, I literally remember being in your shoes. I remember the feelings you're having. It's just so weird. It's so weird. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, what are we doing? We got three broccolis. We got one green bean we got one asparagus we got one yellow squash and someone doom said yellow squash and zucchini are the same thing i kind of agree um mm -hmm. but i do have a preference in the two to be honest we're going with broccoli we got three broccoli that's what we're gonna roll with so okay take it away with the broccoli so broccoli is also a staple vegetable for me as someone who eats a lot of vegetables, I love me some broccoli. But that being said, I pretty much only prepare it the same way. I buy frozen broccoli, I roast it, 
and that's it. And I put like Montreal steak seasoning on it and that's pretty much it. I do like it cooked, but I don't ever cook it really myself. So like for me, it's hard for me to rank broccoli because I'm all over the place when it comes to my feelings with broccoli. I like broccoli. Broccoli to me is everything that celery isn't and that's a good thing. I enjoy it. I feel like it kind of, um, broccoli has the sickest haircut out of all the veggies, by the way, with the Afro. I do like that. I appreciate that. Uh, broccoli cheddar soup is a good soup. Broccoli in soup generally is good. Um, I think broccoli is great. However, personally, my mind is never blown when broccoli's there. And my mind is never missing broccoli when it's not there. So at best, it's bottom of veggie side tables for me or it's in eh, it's just vegetables. That's where I would see it. Yeah, I was thinking of the same. Um, the thing is, is like, I don't like to eat. I mean, I'll eat broccoli raw, but I don't like eating it raw. And I do really like raw vegetables. It's just like a concept. Um, I think I would probably put it at the beginning bottom of veggie side tables but like knowing that that has got some some we manipulating saw, we can, to do yeah we're gonna anything so yeah if you're coming in now or if you've been waiting to find out what the fate of this middle is when we get to the end of this we're gonna quickly look at these and we're gonna reshuffle the the veggie side tables because they are kind of the fence for us now and we're gonna split them up and decide what we're doing mm-hmm. so we'll do yeah that. i agree okay um, um, okay, well, you said that you had opinions on zucchini. Oh, uh, the yellow squash and zucchini? That's squash, a good one to yeah. go next. We get two of them out. Um, I prefer zucchini over yellow squash, and I love zucchini. Mm. Zucchini, baked zucchini is delicious, and anything I've had it in, I've hey. loved. And to us. me, it's I'm underrated. Really I was me. turned to it later. Um, and I think to me, it's like the, it's like the more solid state of the gooey eggplant if that makes sense um mm-hmm. so they, they kind of come from the same family for me and i love them i enjoy them um grilled they're they're just great in every cooked form i've had them so i like them now yellow squash i've also had um ultimately i don't care for it as much i understand that they're kind of the same thing but for me if we if we left it on the ground and we just had zucchini i wouldn't i would never for, uh, like think about yellow squash so for me yellow uh, zucchini's up there it's up there in the conversation it's in the side tables for sure and yellow squash is unnecessary and is either in leave it on the ground or in eh, it's just veggies in the bottom with the beets yeah, so I would agree with that because I think I've never gone to the grocery store and been like, oh, I have to get yellow squash. It's like, oh, I'm getting zucchini. Oh, yeah, and I'll get yellow squash too because that will go good in the ratatouille I'm going to make or with the grilled vegetables I'm going to make. You know yeah. what I mean? So it's not like, oh, I'm actively seeking out yellow squash. It is a byproduct of me already getting zucchini. So therefore, I think zucchini has to be higher. Yeah. So where would you put yellow squash? Let's start with that. Where did you say I the would put eggs, it just either, veggies? I, I would put it bottom of eh, it's just or top of leave it in the ground. I would do... Above beets, maybe? Celery is too hot. Okay, I would do eh, it's just veggies. Okay, above cel- uh, above beets? Sure, yeah. Okay. All right, and then zucchini, I would put it above... I would put it above your beloved... I would put it above lettuce is where I would put lettuce it. Lettuce needs to be moved down. Like, what were we even thinking putting okay. lettuce Well, so lettuce high? was the, the first thing we talked about. So <laughs> it's hard to, That's like... That's true. So, like, I would... Okay, let, we're going to get there. We're going to... We need to stop looking at them and try and move them for now. So we'll put it here for now. Okay, okay. yeah, that sounds good to me. Okay. Um, you're next. Would you like to go with tomato, green beans, uh, jalapenos, or asparagus? Okay, I want to talk about green beans because green beans is another vegetable that I eat all the time. Of my staple vegetables, it's, like, green bean, asparagus like cooked vegetables yeah. and bro- and broccoli. I would say like the unbrussel sprouts. I would say like those four are like my, oh, and zucchini, I guess as well. So for me, I would put it like somewhere up there amongst that sort of like region. Like I can see we put the them all in sort of either the low veg to side table tier or the uh, it's just veggies. So for me, it goes like somewhere in those rankings just because like it's such a staple for me. Yeah. 
I um, they're not a stick. I don't fuck with green beans. I have them because you have them. Like you have them here, so I'll eat them. But they're never gonna be in my top decisions. They're never. I would have not bought them had it not been for your request for them to be on the grocery list. So they don't jump off the page. They don't spark excitement or joy to me. They're just meh. They're kind of there. Um, they can be soggy. I don't fuck with that. I don't like that. Um, as someone who prefers the more bite to the veggie, I mm -hmm. do recognize that they can be soggy. They can also be tasty, though. Um, but ultimately, they don't really give me much outside of like a meh. Um, maybe like a, I would say eh, it's just veggies. Um or yeah i'm cool with that yeah eh, just veggies maybe i prefer them over celery so i would i would give you top of eh yeah no i'm cool with that okay top of eh we go all right um all right i'm gonna give one last this is gonna be the chat's choice so tomato jalapeno or asparagus go and then we know what we're doing with the final two so Doom Tribe said green beans raw uh, in response to just gel. Happy birthday, gel. And uh, yes, green beans raw. They're really good. They're like a fun little snack veggie. Just to, like nom 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 on them. I, I think that they're delicious. <laughs> Look at us. Look at us. But I'm like, it's only, only like Thank one, you. like one utility. Yeah. Okay. Kirsten just jumped into the chat and said, many of these are fruit. I feel robbed. Kristen, we're going to be on a call with you soon, so we'll discuss this. Um, I feel like that's insane. Again, culinarily. Cu culinarily speaking, these are vegetables, according to mm -hmm. the the Liana. Again, I was told that this is my list, and it is. I can tear them. I picked them as vegetables. I still don't think potatoes <laughs> should be there, but whatever. That's okay, fine. yeah. Well, that that is an incorrect <laughs> I'd opinion. I don't leave that in the past. That you're harboring. So we got more asparagus um, here. So we'll go with asparagus. Okay. So again, I love asparagus. Asparagus is good. I've definitely introduced it into my diet after meeting you, and they're tasty and they're prepared. I think it's funny that asparagus surge came from people being like, "Hey." Is it true that when you eat it, your pee smells different? I need to know. I'm going to buy them. And I think that is the, the comic surge that it got. Um, it's great. I do enjoy it. Again, it is crispy when you make it. I At least the way we make it, I do enjoy it that way. Um, it is, for me, in the side table discussion, I don't think it's a top tier. Uh, but I'm glad that it's been introduced to me. So it would definitely be in the veggie side tables for me. Yeah, I would put it inside table as well. I'm happy with that. What are your thoughts on it? Well, I mean, I think so. First of all, I like it cooked. You can't really eat it raw. So that's like a little bit of a knock against it, which is why it's not like onion. It's not like pepper territory. But I think grilled asparagus is so good. Baked asparagus is so good. You can also put it like we don't really cook it in a lot of things, but you can like cook it in a lot of dishes. I have these little like asparagus cup things that one time I'll make for you. They're so good. Oh, okay. Um, I, I just, uh, I just really, I really like asparagus. I would probably put it though at the bottom of the uh, vegicide table tier. Okay. Um, so Kirsten says, did you see what asparagus looks like if it's not harvested properly to that? I say, I do not know if you could send me a photo, I would look at it. Um, well, yeah. cause it like grows out of the water. Right. And then you like pick it. Oh, I did not know that. Um, I, so we said bottom of the veggie side tables, or we didn't say where in the veggie side tables. Well, I would probably put I would probably put it above broccoli. All right. Well, I'll toss it in right above broccoli for now because I know we're gonna re discuss this <laughs> middle that's going on. And then mm -hmm. last but not least, so we're down to the final two. Let's talk about the one that I know we both indulge in more. Um, let's go with tomato. And this is contentious because I know some people are gonna look at me like, well, tomato is not a vegetable; it's a fruit. It was a vegetable when I remember. It's like Pluto. You know, it's kind of like it was a vegetable when I remember learning about it. Um, and I've always thought of it and treated it as a vegetable. Um, again, great for sandwiches. I know that it's a divisive one also in the sense that some people hate tomatoes and they can't have tomatoes on anything. Like they're like, give me ketchup or n not tomatoes. Or they're like, I hate all of it. That's fine. Um, but tomato for me is great. You can eat it raw, which I know you like the the veggies raw discussion being brought in. Good times. 
Um, and I and I like it. I like it. I like the I like that it adds a different texture to what I'm eating. I like it in salad a lot. Um, it goes well with if you're making like a breakfast sandwich. It definitely is like the cut in the breakfast sandwich. So I like that. Tomato soup is decent. Um, it, you know, you think about all the other tomato stuff that come through with it. You know, spaghetti sauce, paste, like. Tomato is a high utility vegetable. What are you? Laughing I like about? the tomato paste was on your list. Tomato You're paste, like, you know, tomato yeah, paste. You can, it's good for some recipes. Trust. I mean, salsa, right? Like, I think yeah. I think tomatoes is something that's it's a it's top tier because to me it goes in so many different types of cuisines. Also, raw, cooked in eggs, like it's just delicious. Yeah. Plus, think about all the things that you can make with it. So for me, I would probably put it in the top tier. Yeah, like the a Persian omelet, the main ingredient after egg is tomatoes and tomato paste. And it is, that's how I knew an omelet to be before I moved here and realized omelet was, oh, you're putting stuff and then you're folding it in half. So maybe one day when we decide to do the cooking stream with pizza, maybe we'll do a Persian omelet and I'll show you how that goes. But for right now, I think tomato is top tier let's say below garlic i think it's above garlic maybe because you can't i mean okay yeah you can eat garlic raw but like nobody eats garlic raw so for you it's the raw people eat, raw argument I, liana I like wants to raw. raw dog a tomato i, I like them raw okay um no i think like uh I think I think there's something that when a vegetable can have so much versatility, that counts for something. Yeah, no, I agree. I'm with you. Yeah. Um, the last but not least, we've got what I ended up saying: hot peppers slash jalapenos, because I didn't want to put both in here because Liana's gonna be like, eh, I can't handle spices, so then it wouldn't be here. Um, okay, so my sister, speaking of asparagus, sent us a picture of asparagus, how to grow asparagus. It is not in water, but it does just like come out of the ground. Interesting. Okay, let me let me give it a look. Um, it's just like peeking out. Oh, it's so cute. Look at them. It, does cuteness count oh, wow. for vegetables? They look bigger here. Well, yeah, because of perspective. Is it perspective? Can you see this? Oh, you can't see this because this background is going to fail me. 69. cutting in and out. 69. Oh. <laughs> 69. What happened? DT. 69. DT discovered the secret to um, unlocking the uh, the donation for 69. And oh, no, wait. I can't hear it. Because you don't have the stream open, do you? Or you have it muted. I have it muted. Yeah. So... They found one. You found one of them. <laughs> Do you want to hear it again, Liana? <laughs> yeah. Can you play it again? I have to go find it, but I can do that. Yes. Um, actually, I might not be able to. It's fine. You can hear it again at some other time. I'll show it to you later. Okay. Okay. Um, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> chat's loving this, by the way. They're really enjoying this. <laughs> but um, yeah. So thank you, DT, for the $6.9 donation. I'm here for the juicy content. I appreciate that you are here for the juicy content. You know that's what you're getting when you come onto this stream, always. That's the first thing we think of. So, Liana, talk to us about your jalapeno slash hot pepper enjoyment. I Like, what am I supposed to contribute? They hurt my, f I, they hurt my mouth. I can't eat spicy food. This has been a constant, okay? I just can't. It it hurts me. <laughs> I'm never going to forget this for so long that I made a jambalaya and I put half a teaspoon more cayenne pepper than the recipe asked for, half. And Liana didn't eat the meal I made for the week. And I had to eat all of it myself. It's not because it wasn't, I tried. Remember that time I tried? I tried to eat it. I couldn't, it hurt me. I don't like food that hurts me. <laughs> <laughs> 
I believe your sister's here saying in the chat, <laughs> I don't know how we're related. So I know. I, I like I was there was one point time in my life where I was like, okay, I'm gonna like train myself because it's like, oh, I can you know, people can do it. People can start to like spicy food and I just couldn't push through it. I just couldn't. I'm weak. I'm weak. <laughs> and jalapenos for me, I remember one time I got one of those meal kit delivery services and it had jalapenos in it and I was like what do I do? <laughs> what do I do? Because the instruction said to use the jalapenos, but I was like, well, I know I can't, I can't do that. So I tried to do it and then my fingers hurt and <laughs> it was just all a disaster because I think my body just like naturally rejects jalapenos. <laughs> like it's like, I'm sorry, you just, you can't. And I want to eat a jalapeno popper. That's like my one goal in life is to one day be able to eat enough spice to handle a jalapeno popper. Mm -hmm. They look so good. They're great. Jalapeno poppers are amazing. And, you know, for me, as someone who does like the spicy food, having something spicy in the vegetable section, not too shabby at all. I do enjoy it. Um, it adds that bit of kick. I know you like that phrase. It gives it a bit of a kick. So when you want to spruce it up a little bit, you throw a jalapeno in there. It's a good time. Um, I Yeah. And so... Because I like can't I like honestly can't even contribute to this discussion. So yeah, Doom Tribe saying Liana Ghost Pepper Challenge. Would you be down? How much milk can we buy? Because isn't that what you're supposed to drink milk? when? Yeah. Yeah, to help counteract the capsation or capsaicin or whatever. So yeah, I'm down to I'm down to one day maybe do that with you. Um, I don't know if there's a f yeah. I, I'll eat like ten carrots if you eat one like ghost pepper. With no, but, you can have all the milk you want, and I have zero liquids. It would be a struggle. What Brown said, when your mouth goes numb from celery, you might not be able to handle spice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's over. I, like, I can't eat radishes or celery. It hurts. <laughs> Philippe is saying what I'm feeling, Liana, and that's that Um, it's top tier for me, but I feel bad for Liana, so I say veggie oh. side tables. So if, mm. what Philippe says is what I feel. I would put it like bottom of the veggie side tables for you if you're okay with that. That's fine. That's I, I Whatever you want to do, okay. I accept. All right. So this is what the list is looking like. But let's quickly talk about these side tables because we have 12 things on there. And I feel like we need to move stuff up and down, honestly. Yeah, so I co-sign that. Let's start talking from the bottom to the top. Let's leave the jalapenos in the bottom anyways, because that's not moving. Like you're not okay. gonna, we're not gonna push it up by any means, right? So okay, let's go with broccoli. Where are you talking with broccoli? Is it staying? Wait, no, because I want to talk about one that I feel really confident about, which is like lettuce needs to be moved down. Lettuce needs to be moved like into. It's just veggies. Yes. Okay. I'm willing to put it. I was way too place. high on lettuce to begin with. I think mm -hmm. I don't get me wrong. Like I love lettuce, but now that we've talked about some of these other vegetables, like lettuce is yes, a staple, but like you said, I really only think that I'm the only person who like eats it by itself. Right. So I would definitely move it down to the top of it. It's just veggies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm, I'm, and I'm fine with it being the best of the, it's just veggies. Yes, yeah. I'm okay with that as well. Um, Wait, so, okay, yeah. I think you need to really, really heavily reconsider and put aside your feelings about starches and just let potato be in the god tier that it needs to be because no one says no to potatoes, really. Pretty much no one says no to them unless you're on like a restrictive but... diet or you're trying not to eat like hella starch, hella potatoes because they can be – like they're mostly fried or whatever. Like, But you have to put it – it belongs – look I, at the top list. It belongs in I that know. list. I, I know. I see it like trying to just like inch and claw its way up there. I'm fine with that. You can move it up yes. to, to I will always root for you. Also, by the way, my sister coming up with some clutch information, mom is allergic slightly to celery. What if I'm slightly allergic to celery? Yeah, you should get that checked. Especially given the amount of celery you are take intake. <laughs> oh my god. I wouldn't have thunk it. Okay, I y'all get pricked for celery. <laughs> <laughs> oh like the, the English like when, vocabulary. No, no, no. Like like you know when you go and you get an allergy test and they do that like grid on you and I, then they prick you with all the different things yeah. and then they see what you're allergic to. But like you That's what I meant. You know you That's phrased it wrong. That's why you got defensive. So <laughs> Potatoes up, um, 
I, yeah, just up. We'll say just up. We'll move on to mushrooms. I don't think... I think most people would say mushrooms should be lower. I'm okay. I think mushrooms is the quintessential side table for me. Mm. Mushrooms are the quintessential side table. Well, wait. So is there anything else that you would move out of this tier? I think I would like to talk about cucumbers getting moved up now. Um, and moved up. Yeah, I think cucumbers. The more I've thought about it, out of all the vegetables, because all the vegetables that are in the top tier, I've put there personally because I like that they can get cooked into something good. Um, but that's what I'm saying. That celery, you can't necessarily do that. Like, what do celeries get cooked into? Wait, scally. Or celery. I, I want to talk about scally's con. Love that Liana's mom is allergic to celery, but was picking it for <laughs> Liana regularly. <laughs> Well, she was, it was like, again, the thing with the spice, like, we'll train you out of it. <laughs> That's how you allergies beat this work, allergy. right? You can beat this allergy. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. No, I, I think, uh, I think my me, personal love for cucumber, though, is why it's so high. No, I think for me, cucumber, if I'm picking one of the raw veggies to go up there, I want it to be cucumber. Because I'm not, ha like, none of the other ones, like, are going to be the raw form of vegetable. Most of them, for me, are up there for their not raw form. So that's why I would want to put it there. I can't believe I, I mean, I'm happy. I'm honestly, I'm happy with the decision because I love cucumbers so much, but also like, I understand that that's you going back on what you were talking about earlier. I know I'm, I've changed. I've changed my tune to it. I, that's fine. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with um, that. No, now that you've been very comfortable with it, I'm not going to move it. We'll leave it there. What about what's your, okay. What's the thing you don't see being in this tier? No, honestly, I'm happy with where everything kind of ended up now looking at the list. Like, I, I see essentially all of my, like, quintessential veggies all right there, which I think makes sense. They all go together. Um, and then there's the few peppered in I disagree with, but, like, I also understand why they're there. Like, I understand why corn is there. Corn? Yeah, corn is one that I would have wanted to put up. So um, the fact that it's not is saddening to me, but uh, it is what it is. Eddie, what it is. Exactly. Um, but yeah, Liana, thank you for indulging me in the uh, insanity that was this veggie list that you made us go through today. I hope you had fun. Yeah, I had fun. Thank you for letting me pick vegetables <laughs> as the thing to deer. Yeah, I mean, again, when I invite the guest, I give them the choice. They get to pick whatever they want. Um, whenever like that we're ready to go so that works um, so you pick vegetables and we made it happen and you know what I had fun I had fun um, so <laughs> it wasn't everyone's list I understand that I know that some people didn't like some of the items on there but hey if anything it was fun to hear Liana give us anecdotes it was fun to hear the Liana donation alert that I had hit up there um, I didn't even get to hear it. I'm so mad. I, I like know. now have it. I have on the sound just a little bit in case it happens <laughs> again or you figure out how to do it just yeah. so I can hear it. I added a total of three. So we'll see um, if the others get unlocked in the future. Ooh. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so cool. that was it for today. I uh, will be back tomorrow at six for which one Wednesday where we pit things against each other and we figure out what's going to go where in a versus situation. So if you would like to fill the form out for that with any suggestions you have, the form is now in the chat. Um, please do. I definitely do take the feedback there, um, both for tier list and for which one Wednesday. And um, yeah, yeah. I mean, Liana's Twitter is in the in the in the screen, so you don't even need her to plug it. But Liana, plug what else you've been doing. Plug your stuff. Yeah. Okay, so you can follow me on Twitter at LianaRHAP. I've been recording a lot of stuff recently. So we're, of course, doing RuPaul's Drag Race with All Stars 5 and Canada's Drag Race. We went ahead and wrapped that up. I'm also doing um, the Survivor Rewatch that's going on. So we talked about the effing stick episode of Micronesia, which was so, so fun. Uh, did that with Mike Bloom over on the BNB. &B. And then, Huya, uh, you're starting some brand new coverage uh, as well. Of 90 Day Fiance, and so right. I got to come on and talk about the episode of Happily Ever After and recap some stuff. And then I'm also doing, uh, we're doing some Big Brother like preview shows, um, 
where we're speculating about the cast and like covering individual people. So there should be a podcast out tonight that um, that we recorded about that. And then we're going to do the RHAPB and be also for Big Brother. Okay, I'm done. I feel like Mike Bloom. I was about to say, you've really come a long way from before. I was like, yeah, yeah, I do hunted. That's it. And now you've become Mike Bloom where <laughs> I know. you're like, you whip out the banjo and you're like, I'm on the BMB, 90 day fiance. So, <laughs> yeah. Chicken music. Chicken music. So, yeah, I am now the host of the 90 day wrap up. So, that'll be fun. That has been fun. I've recorded two podcasts. They should be, um, they're going to get sent over in a minute. And then they should be out some point this week. So, look out for those in your old, in the old wrap ups feed. And then I will also be getting my feet wet with the big brother stuff you know already we've talked about a bunch of it on this stream so there's definitely going to be lots to talk about there for sure and uh, yeah if you want to find me this is the best place to do it because i will be back tomorrow and i will be back on friday um i had a plan for friday i was gonna do like a i, w I was like let's watch the interviews on wednesday uh, for the BB cast. And then on Friday, I was going to do a special tier list Friday where we were going to rank everyone based on what we thought about their interviews or is what I wanted to do. But, and I can't stress this enough, given that we don't know if that's going to happen, I don't know if we're going to do that on Friday. But uh, I will be here back on Friday for sure. And uh, just watch my Twitter for when what time I decide to go. We'll do it then. Anyways, I hope you had fun. Liana, did you have fun? You had fun? Yeah. Thanks yeah, for joining me on the TV um everyone stay hydrated have a good night take care and we will see you at six tomorrow in this space right here adios